I'm outside because it's kind of nice. Today is day seven of my seven day sketchbook challenge. Therefore, it is the last day. And I thought it would be fun to just like do a self portrait day because sometimes I feel like people just don't draw themselves and drawing yourself is fun. Like, I don't know if that's just like the, the self entitlement within myself, but I think it's fun. This may or may not be an excuse for me to draw myself but I think it's still gonna be fun. I wanna make a theme out of my spread, so I'm gonna use a lot of primary colors and I'm gonna be painting this one because why not? The audacity of these people to be doing yard work right now while I'm outside. Anyway, let's get started. I hope you guys have fun with this last day. So yeah, today we are gonna be drawing ourselves. Last day guys, let's go. I actually decided to paint for this one because I had a little bit more time on my hands and I was in the mood to just bust out the acrylic paints. I took a few reference pictures of myself just for this challenge specifically, but I also had some pictures from my camera roll that I wanted to use, so yeah. That is my reference picture situation. That is my reference picture situation. Reference picture situation. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I just went at it without really thinking too much about the composition. So like when I was sketching out this picture, I wasn't really thinking about any of the other pictures I had. I was just going at it, doing whatever. Um, probably is not the best idea all the time, but for this instance, it was fine. I just, I don't know. I wanted to do some kind of like blob stuff as you can see and kind of like separate the different pictures into different like blobs. I don't know why. Um, and then my idea was to put some dark blue in the background and just use the primary colors in general for like the design part Like aside from the reference pictures. I don't know <laughs> um, And I decided to do my eye because it is something that I'm a bit insecure about and I want to find beauty in it I've always been kind of insecure about my eyes because they're so hooded and my eyelashes are like there but they face down so you can't really see them because my eyes are hooded and they're just really like puffy all the time I don't know what it is I don't know like the bottom skin under my eyes is always like bleh. I don't even know how to explain it but anyway this was a little extra thing I thought about for today's prompt because I think drawing things that you're a bit insecure about can be comforting. Like, it's definitely helped me in the past to find beauty in my insecurities because then I start to realize that insecurities are like a social construct and who cares if my eyes are hooded? Who, like, what? Who, who literally, like, who thought of that, you know? Um, beauty standards suck and they ruin a lot of people's mental state and way of thinking, which I think is some BS. So if you feel comfortable doing that, then do it. But no pressure though. I know how things can be for certain people, but yeah, if you wanna draw your insecurity, go for it. <laughs> the brand of acrylic paint that I used was Daylor Rowney. I am aware that the paint is like very sheer and it's less quality than good quality paint, but it is my go-to at the end of the day. I don't have anything else. I got it from Walmart for like $2 per tube, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. If I just need like the primary colors and white and brown, like that is not that much money. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm honestly so fatigued by the end of this week. I'm just so glad the filming process is over. Things have been really hectic and I'm just glad it's coming to an end so I can have a slightly fresh start next week. Doing this challenge is fine on its own, but like filming it, editing it, having to do a voiceover and make a thumbnail and description and everything else is a bit exhausting if I do say so myself. Overworking myself just a bit. I'm hoping to take a break from technology starting tomorrow because I just really need that in my life right now. Screenager, addicted to my screens. Also, look at this one I'm working on right now. I love how this one turned out. Like the blue shadows and the really like effortless brush strokes. Oh my goodness. It almost looks like gouache, but not quite, which I really like. I like the look of gouache paintings. But yeah, if you are comfortable taking reference pictures of yourself, go crazy with it. The more interesting the picture, the better the outcome in my opinion. I like to take pictures with like crazy expressions or good contrast, like highlights and shadows or cool colors. You can also go for a more stylized approach if that's your thing. And you can also do something like really simple, like I drew my face three different times, but you most definitely do not have to do that. I am just being extra as always. So you can do a simple little thing, like one 
portrait of yourself in the corner of your sketchbook page. And as long as you are like drawing one thing, getting yourself to sit down and draw for the day, that's all that really matters. I'm just trying to set an example. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like as long as you are drawing every day, I think that's better than nothing because a full sketchbook is better than an empty sketchbook or like two pages is better than zero pages. Sorry, my sister's like screaming. I can hear her through the walls. My goodness. Um, if you guys think about having a sister, don't do it. Just don't. Um, unless you want to hear her screaming about Minecraft every single day for hours on end. My goodness. I'm just kidding, Marley. I love you. Okay. Um, what else do I talk about? What else should I talk about? We're actually pretty close to wrapping things up, so I just wanted to again give a gargantuan thank you to everyone who's participating, let alone just watching. Like, that's so cool that so many people are showing me their sketches. It makes me so happy inside to know that I can spark even the tiniest bit of motivation within a few of y'all. Even if some of you guys don't have the time this week to participate, you can always come back any day and start then. I'll keep these videos up and I'll probably make a playlist on YouTube just to make things super easy for you guys, just so you can access it like with a snap of a finger, with the click of a button. And as always, with every video I upload, we will have a artist shout out. So today's shout out is Lauren at Art of LB on Instagram. Their art is so cool and vibrant and so realistic. I love the colors in the shadows, especially so pink and colorful and mm, that's exactly what I vibe with. That colored pencil art is so immaculate as always. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this series. Like it's been a wild ride. It's been an adventure and I hope you guys created something wonderful. All right, I love you guys. Hang in there and I will be back soon with another upload eventually. Maybe. Possibly. Alright, bye.